friends! Today is going to be my TBR takedown for the month of August. If you are new here, the TBR takedown is a game that I'm playing trying to get my physical unread TBR shelves down from a really high number down to something manageable, probably around 50. I will go over my purchases for the month and then quickly go over the books that I read for the month and then any unhauls or DNFs. So I started the month of August with 131 books. So let's get started. For the haul, the first is my Alcrate book, which is This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron. I think this was technically for the month prior, but Alcrate is getting a smidge behind right now. I don't know a lot about this one, but I do know that it follows our main character, Brie, and she has the capability of making plants grow with a touch. She inherits some kind of like an old mansion with a garden. That's all I really know. People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. This book follows Poppy and Alex who are two best friends who have been going on vacation together every year for like 11 years or I think it was it was quite a long time. They met in college and they started going on these summer vacations trying to do things very cheaply. And a couple of summers prior to the one that we get in present day in the book, something happened and they haven't spoken to each other since. And Poppy's kind of just going through the motions and not super happy with her life and she realizes the last time that she was happy was when she was with Alex and so she decides to try to convince Alex to go on one more vacation to try to repair their relationship. I really enjoyed Henry's previous book Beach Read so I hope I will enjoy this one as well. That was a book of the month club pick. I also picked up two other book of the month club books. The first of which being Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully. I don't know what this is about but I know that it is going to be a book club monthly pick. It's it's gonna be one of the group books for the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge later this year so I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. I also picked up Not a Happy Family by Sherry LaPena. This book centers around a specific family in like an upper class neighborhood and following Easter dinner the mother and father are murdered and the three adult children are all kind of suspects and I think this book is going to go through telling us like their history and who you know the whodunit of it all. And the last haul of the month is Star Eater by Kirsten Hall. This was actually sent to me from Bethany at Beautifully Bookish Bethany who I will link in the description box down below um, as part of being a patron on her channel on the tier that I'm in. I don't know what it's about. I didn't read what it's about but her note said cannibal nuns. So <laughs> Clearly I'm interested. So those are the five books that I hauled this month. Let's get into the books that I read. If this is your first TBR takedown, I do not do a wrap up of these. That The full wrap up will be linked in the description box down below. This is just me going through them very quickly to tell you what I read so that we can accurately take things off of the count. Some things will actually come off, some will not because only physical copies come off of the count. The first is Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston, which I read as an ebook, so that does not count. Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. Star Daughter by Shweta Thakrar, which volume 7. Kisses and Croissants by Anna Sophia Johano, which was an arc, so that does not count. The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. Isn't It Romantic by Lissa K. Adams, which again was an arc, so it does not count. Winter Counts by David Heska Wombly Waden, which was an audiobook so it does not count. Butter Honey Pig Bread by Francesca Equiazzi, which was an ebook so it doesn't count. And Casadora by Romina Garber, which was an ARC so it doesn't count. That was four books that do count. The rest of them were just fun. I do have three unhaul slash dnfs this month so i will show you those as well again if you want to know like full details those will be in my wrap up we have it ends with us by colleen hoover and war storm and broken throne by victoria aviard all of those words have ours in them and they were really hard to say we started at 131 we hauled five books that count we read four books that count and we got to take off three books for the unhaul DNF section. So that leaves us with 129 books for the beginning of September. Now, if you are an eagle-eyed viewer, you would know that 129 is actually where I started out at the beginning of July and then went up and then had to come back down. 
in September, I can tell you right now, I've read four books already and none of them count. And it's gonna pretty much be like that all month. So it should be a great time of me trying really hard not to make the number go up again. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!